Hey everyone, welcome back to Summer School. In today's session, we'll talk about the 10 financial terms that every beginner stock investor must know. Today we will review 11 terms that you really need to understand before investing in the market. It's so important to take it back to the basics. So what is a stock? Stocks are a unit of ownership in a business. The number of shares determine how big of piece of ownership you will have in that business. So if a company has 100,000 outstanding shares of stock and you own 1,000, you have 1% equity in that company. You own 1% of that company. We'll talk more about equity in a second. To sum it up, this is the basic definition of stocks and stock shares. As a reminder, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and like this video if it was useful for you. Also, before I forget, I'm Kim, aka Kim with the Gems. I'm also a long-term investor as well as an options trader. And I look forward to bringing this information to the beginner and novice investor in an easily digestible format. So how does a stock become a stock? Let's think about it. Let's say you have a business, you want to grow your business, but you need money to do so. So you go to the bank, you ask for a loan, the loan is denied. How will you then raise money to expand and grow your business? You'll have to come up with another way. And that's called taking it to the street. <laughs> Going with an initial public offering where you gather investors, friends and family to come out of their pockets to help fund your idea. Once you get enough funding, and that money starts rolling in, you now have investors who now own a piece of your business. Remember, we talked about that. And you can go ahead and proceed with the expansion. You no longer are indebted to a bank, but you do have to answer to the investors. The investors get to vote and have a say in how the company is run to ensure profitability. They didn't invest just to invest, y'all. They want a return on that investment. These investors are now called shareholders. What is a shareholder? A shareholder, also known as a stockholder, is any person or company or institution that owns at least one share of a company's stock. Let's talk about equity. An equity investment is money that is invested in a company by purchasing shares of that company in the stock market. The shares are typically traded on a stock exchange, and once you own the stock, you own equity in the company. Another important term to know is stock symbol. What is a stock symbol? A stock symbol is an arrangement of characters, usually letters, representing publicly traded securities on an exchange. So each and every publicly traded company has a separate set of symbols, as you see here. Amazon is AMZN, Apple would be AAPL, Visa will be V. Currently, there are over 8,000 stock symbols on the U.S. Stock Exchange. Here's another example. Next, we'll discuss the stock market. The stock market is the place or electronic market, also known as exchanges, where shares of these publicly listed companies are bought and sold. Think of the stock market like a traditional market where there are buyers and sellers Someone is offering a product, someone else is buying a product, and oftentimes there's negotiations happening during the process. Most of these negotiations take place over a computer nowadays, but there was a time where they all took place in person on Wall Street on a trading floor. So what is an investor? 
An investor is any person or other entity, such as a firm or mutual fund, who commits capital, aka money, with the expectation of receiving financial returns. Once you become an investor, you have a portfolio. What exactly is a portfolio? Well, it's a collection of financial investments like stocks, bonds, commodities, cash, and cash equivalents. It is the total sum of all of your investments and assets. These may include your 401k, stocks, bonds, real estate, cryptocurrency, and in case you're wondering what cryptocurrency is, we have a video on our channel just for you. Check out the top cryptocurrency terms for beginners. Next up is a stock ticker. A stock ticker is a report of the price of certain securities updated continuously throughout the trading session by the various stock market exchanges. So not only will you see the stock symbol, you will also see the fluctuation of its price. The price can go up or it can go down. Bullish means it's expected to go up. Bearish means it's expected to go down. Those are two terms that you will hear frequently as an investor. Sometimes the word economy gets interchanged with the stock market. They are separate. The economy is the system under which money, industry, and commerce are organized. Economic health is measured by employment and production growth. The system in the U.S. is considered capitalistic, driven by supply and demand, with a mix of government involvement and socialist-type policies such as Social Security and Medicare. In a nutshell, the economy is the wealth and resources of a country or region, especially in terms of consumption of goods and services. The indicators of a strong economy are more jobs, higher wages, low interest rates, and the confidence in spending power rise. Indicators of a weak economy include worsening unemployment rates, rising inflation, declining property sales, and increase in credit card and debt defaults. Well, we did it in under 10 minutes, y'all. The second session of summer school is over. You got this, guys. We're going to come back with some more basic terms for you. We're also going to break down exactly how to purchase stocks. We're going to also share the best-in-class brokerages. What is a brokerage, you may ask? Well, stay tuned. Turn on that notification bell because that will be part of the 10-week summer school curriculum. Can't wait to see you guys next time. Take care.